Hello everyone, welcome to another low income cash stuffing video. I do low income videos for my expenses, sinking funds, and my saving challenges. And today I have here a total of $350, which in Spanish means $350, which I will be cash stuffing into my beautiful Motrum wallet, which is right here. So this is for my expenses for the week, like gas, grocery, eating out, spending, with the kids, myself, and for my angel in heaven to take her flowers to the cemetery. And I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend with your loved ones. And let's get started. Okay, so I, before I start cash stuffing my Motrim, I just want to show you the budget breakdown here. So for my bills, I had to pay my best rate credit card and my dish cable, which came out to a total of 76. And then for my Motrim, this is what I'm cash stuffing today. So it was a total of 375. However, I already spent my money, so that's why when we subtract the 25, we have 350 here left. This is the sinking funds, which I'm working on this breakdown, so I could cash stuff that in the next video. So I barely have money left over, but this time I did, and it was, yes, only for my groceries. I had, I think, 5 or $7 left. Let's double check. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. So actually four. So four dollars left in my groceries, which in Spanish means cuatro dólares sobrantes. So, okay, so this is a D-Buck. I will put it to the side and this will be for my kids' uh, binder because they save D-Bucks and E-Bucks. And then these three dollars, I'll roll over to my saving challenges. So I fold them as well and put them here. So those three dollars will go to my one dollar savings challenge. Okay. Now that we have that, let's start here. Okay, so for car gas, um, I will be adding my usual $40. My husband just pumped the gas, so I don't think I would have to pump gas until probably next week or in 10 days because the tank is full. So here I am cashed up in 40 for that. After is groceries, so for groceries, I will be cash stuffing a total of $180, so it's $100, a $50, a $20, and a $10, so $180 in Spanish means $180 para la marqueta. I do shop when we have, when there are weekly deals, I always compare the ads, I go to two. There's two markets that I like, but the one I majority go is El Super because they have more specials. I share with you in shorts all the deals I find for both fresh fruits and veggies as well as for meat. So I have 180 in cash plus I have around $100 also for wig benefits, which includes milk, bread, pasta, yogurt, and stuff. So I know I've said it before, but I like to repeat it for new people so they won't be wondering why did she only cash the 180? It's because in reality, it's 180 in cash plus a 100 in my WIC benefits card. Next, we have eating out. For eating out, I usually cash stuff a little bit, around 40 to 60, because we do try to eat at home all week and just eat out on the weekends. One day I pay and the other my husband however um i do want to treat my family out so i will be cashed up in a total of 100 for this time so uh my husband loves seafood i don't but there's a a, a buffet that he likes they sell seafood but they also sell uh chinese food like spaghetti they sell wings that their wings are really yummy with hot sauce so I like that. They have pizza or barbecue chicken, so I usually eat that while he eats all the seafood he can. He could literally eat three dishes and he's like nothing. <laughs> so yes, that's why I want to take him there. Okay, so eating out is comer afuera and $100 means $100. Okay, and this is spending and it has a picture with a, a, a mom with her kid child walking. So this is for me and the kids to buy any ice cream or anything we may want or treats. So we have $20 when we don't buy ice cream or anything and the kids need something like a shirt or some shorts. 
since the summer is approaching, I buy I pay it off of here so that I don't spend their um, money from their binder. So once again, 20 in Spanish means 20. Y estos son gastos que queramos como nieve, papitas, una blusa o algo. For myself, I did mention earlier, um, I was going to cash the 25. However, I already spent it. Um, I, I bought this machine, which I'll show here in the pictures. Uh, I like it because it chops the onion, the tomato, it slices in squares. So I don't have to go with the knife cutting one by one. So it makes things faster for me. So I bought that. My $25 went there. These last 10 will be going for my angel in heaven. And this is to buy her flowers for the cemetery. And then these lucky two I've mentioned to you. I will not spend and I'll keep them for her envelope. So for my angel in heaven, I will put a photo here. So with the $50 I had saved for her birthday, I bought her this beautiful big angel wings. And then I told them they had the arrangement with red flowers. But since she's an angel, I told them to change it to pink. So they did that for me. Um, the arrangement was now 60, but I showed them a picture from last year that I had purchased um, that same arrangement for 50 and they honored the price and let it go for 50. So I was grateful for that. And we did sing happy birthday to her and those other flowers that you see there were bought by my husband along with the happy birthday decorations. So yes. Thank you to all of you that wish my baby angel girl um, happy birthday wishes. She turned 12 years old on May the 15th. So yes, she is in a good place. She's with God and I mean, all we could do is take her flowers, pray for her today and always and keep her in our hearts. Okay, so that's all for today's cash stuffing. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you may consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed. Also, if you know you are subscribed, please make sure and double check because YouTube has been unsubscribing people. My numbers go up in my watch hours and my subscribers and then after a week, one goes down, then another one. So I heard other people say they've been unsubscribed from certain people's channels. So please double check you are officially subscribed to my channel. I would truly appreciate it if you continue being subscribed and like always if you can play my playlist i would be so grateful i will also go back and play your playlist all night long so we could help each other gain watch hours so thank you so much for watching my next video will be my sinking funds cash stuffing so make sure to turn on your notification alerts hope you all have a wonderful week ahead bye